Congratulations on the purchase of your Springwell whole house cartridge system. There are three different versions that will be discussed in this video. Each version uses different combinations of cartridge filters. In the three cartridge example, you start with a five micron sediment filter that removes sediment and particulates. In the CWH3 version, this cartridge also doubles as a salt-free cartridge. The carbon cartridge will remove and reduce chlorine and other chemicals. The VOC lead cartridge removes lead and volatile organic compounds. This video will walk you through the installation process of these systems. Here is an overview of the parts you'll be receiving in your shipment, and note that contents will vary depending on which system you purchased. The CWH1 system will be shipped with a two cartridge housing, a two cartridge mounting bracket, two hardware kits, two silicone lubricants, a spanner wrench, a five micron sediment cartridge, and a carbon cartridge. All the parts for the CWH2 system will be the same with the exception of the cartridges. The five micron sediment cartridge will also double as a salt-free cartridge. This system will also come with the carbon cartridge. The CWH3 system comes with a three cartridge housing, a three cartridge mounting bracket, three hardware kits, three silicone lubricants, a spanner wrench, a five micron sediment salt-free combo cartridge, a carbon cartridge, and a VOC lead cartridge. Note that these systems are compatible with PVC, copper, and PEX tubing. The installation in this video will feature a combination of PVC and corrugated water connectors. As a reminder, please remember to shut off the water to the home before tapping into the plumbing. And purge your system from any water pressure by opening the cold faucet on a bathtub. You'll also want to identify the flow of the water where you're tapping in. Plumber's tape is required on threaded connectors. Also, it's recommended to install a shutoff valve ahead of your cartridge system. This will make maintaining your system much easier. Due to the weight of the cartridge system, it's important that you mount the studs when you're installing it on a wood structure. To ensure your installation is neat and professional, be sure to use a level. If you look on the back of the cartridge mounting bracket, you will notice eyelets. It's useful to use them to mark the areas to pre-drill. Once the mounting position is identified, you can use a drill to pre-drill the holes for the mounting hardware. Please note that mounting hardware is not provided in your Springwell kit. In this example video, we are using quarter inch galvanized screws because we're mounting into wooden studs. With the mounting holes pre-drilled, we will now use the galvanized screws to secure the bracket to the wall. To simplify the cartridge housing installation, use a spanner wrench to loosen each of the cartridge housings. Once loosened, go ahead and unthread them. Remove all the cartridge housings and set them aside until a later step. Before mounting the cartridge housing, take a look and identify the inlet side and the outlet side located on the other side. Near the inlet side, you'll find a ventilation valve that needs to be fully tightened prior to installation. You want to align the cartridge housing so that the inlet side of the cartridge housing aligns with the water source and the outlet aligns with the side going into the home. The hardware that was provided is used to secure the cartridge housing. A 5 mm Allen wrench will be required to secure them. Align the cartridge housing with the underside of the mounting bracket and begin securing it with the provided hardware and washers. Work your way back and forth on opposite sides of the bracket and only finger tighten the hardware. Don't fully tighten just yet. You can fully tighten once all of the screws are in place. The installation should look like this after that step has been completed. You are now ready to plumb the cartridge system. Threaded connectors with plumber's tape are being used in this installation. Fully tighten by hand, then use a wrench to ensure that it's fully tightened. As was recommended, a shutoff valve is being installed ahead of the cartridge system. In this example, it's being threaded by hand and then fully tightened. In this example, corrugated water connectors are being used to connect the cartridge system to the home's plumbing. A threaded connector with plumber's tape 
and a corrugated water connector is also used on the opposite side. Your system should look similar to this once it's been correctly plumbed. The front of the mounting bracket will identify which cartridge goes in each position. Please note that each of the cartridges will come packaged. Be sure to remove the packaging from each cartridge prior to installation. With the packaging removed, you can now slide the cartridge inside of the cartridge housing. Please note that when the cartridge is properly inserted, it'll recess slightly inside of the cartridge housing. Repeat these steps with any additional cartridges, such as the carbon filter cartridge and the VLC lead cartridge. Silicone lubricant will need to be applied to each of the O-rings on the filter housing. You should have received one tube per housing that's being installed. Apply the lubricant to the O-ring on the top of each housing and then use your finger to smooth it out. Please ensure that the lubricant is evenly applied all the way around the O-ring. You will receive one lubricant for each of the housings. Please be sure to repeat these steps to ensure that all of the O-rings are fully lubricated. To recap, depending on the type of system you purchased, the combination of cartridges will vary. To make it easier, the front of the mounting bracket will identify which cartridge goes in each position. When installing the filter cartridge housing, you will align it and thread it by hand. Once it's snug and fully tightened, slide the spanner wrench over the housing and then use it to fully tighten the cartridge housing. Please repeat these steps with any additional cartridges that are being placed. Your cartridge system is now installed and should look similar to this. To test the system for any leaks, begin by closing the shutoff valve. The water to the home can now be restored. Having the shutoff valve in the off position will allow you to test the initial parts of the connection for any leaks. If no leaks are detected, go ahead and open the shutoff valve and allow water to flow through the system. Water will also begin flowing into your home. Continue your inspection of the cartridge filter housing for any leaks. You will also want to check the connection leading back into the home. Please allow the cold water to your tub to run for 10 minutes. This will ensure that the cartridge system is fully flushed. Congratulations, your installation is now complete.